We know we cannot basically remove cars from St. Charles, but what can we do to ease the pain, the waiting time, and the congestion? St. Charles Boulevard is one of Kirkland's busiest arteries on Montreal's West Island. Originally designed for 30,000 vehicles a day, it now sees around 42,000, operating 40% over capacity. To tackle the growing congestion, the city turned to a high-tech, AI-driven solution to improve their traffic light system. As you can see yourself, there's lots of traffic. But we had to organize also for our future need because Kirkland will grow for another 10,000 in population. The no traffic system uses cameras and radars to monitor intersections. It predicts traffic patterns up to two minutes ahead and adjusts lights in real time to reduce wait times and improve flow. Orange Traffic, a company specializing in smart signage, acted as a distributor and integrator for the technology. We can say uh, in a conservative manner that we reduced the, uh, the, the time delay uh, by approximately 22 percent uh, on the whole corridor, and this number can reach more than 40% if we're looking at specific intersections or only during the rush hour itself. I receive less email. Uh, at the beginning, I was receiving email not only from my Kirkland resident, but from a Pierrefond resident, from the Bizarre resident. I think coming, coming north had helped a bit, but I don't go south that much. I usually take St. John's, but definitely going north, I think it definitely helped. For sure. I think uh, every every single day the traffic is worse. I didn't see that these things uh, work. The system is also improving intersection safety, cutting pedestrian delays, lowering greenhouse gas emissions, and enhancing air quality. We managed with the city of Kirkland to, let's say, take more than 500 cars off the road um, because we managed to reduce. Uh, the emission of more than 2,000 metric tons of CO2 per year. In Kirkland, Joanie Bouffard, City News.